Hey everyone, welcome back to my ministry. I'm your host, uh, Nurse Alois. Listen, today um, I was on the telephone taking care of some business and I was talking to um, a young lady. She was just sweet as pie. And uh, she and I just, you know, started to have this conversation um, after, you know, I took care of some business and um, she began to tell me how uh, she, when she first, you know, was diagnosed with COVID and then she got diagnosed with COVID again, a different variant, and then how her um, dad has been diagnosed with at least four or five different variants of COVID. This is here in the state um, of Michigan. And so instantly, you know, I, I spoke up and I said, hey, you know, you're supposed to wear a mask when you get around uh, people. I said, there are so many different types of variants and your body and your dad's body keeps getting hit with different types of variants. I said, although you made it through um, and you're here, you're alive to, to tell the story, you still need to be aware that you need to clean your body out and that it's not normal. This is not normal to go around every time you turn around. You now have a new different strain of the variant, okay? So, you know, part of my nursing career was uh, working um, on a psych ward. So there's a part of my career path where you know, I did a little bit of everything when it came to nursing to see where I fit in, to see what I like, the, what area of nursing I like the most. And I remember working on um, a um, lockdown unit, uh, a mental, you know, institution. And um, I'm seeing a trend um where people are, you know, psychologically unbalanced when it comes to this whole COVID stuff. I mean, people are just accepting the fact that it's normal to breathe in different variants and to be sick with this COVID. Um, and you know there's something wrong with that, something's off with that terribly um you know you just have to protect yourself um yes you can enjoy your life and you can have fun but it'll never go back to normal it'll never be normal again i mean you just have to wrap your mind around that um and find a way to uh enjoy your life be around people that you love and you care about and not get sick four and five and six and seven times with different variants um, of the plague, okay, of COVID. So I just wanted to say something to my audience because it's not being um, addressed and people are ignoring it. People are acting like, you know, life is normal. Life will never be normal again ever what we used to call normal is a no more and so i just wanted to bring some reality um to people and check people mentally and to see where where you are i mean of course you can't be afraid you can't walk around in fear but you definitely need to protect yourself you know people are still getting sick People are still dying, and um, it doesn't make any sense to keep breathing it in and and saying, "Oh, okay, got a different variant now," and then go outside again, be around some other people, and get sick again, and say, "Oh, okay, got a different variant now." I mean, something off with that. Something real off with that. And just not caring about yourself 
something is off or with that. And so, you know, when I was a psych nurse and I had to uh, monitor, you know, uh, psych behaviors and assess it and give medication for that and, um, you know, uh, address psych issues with my patients, you know, I didn't pretend. You know, I, I think something's wrong when you're pretending. You know, I just dealt with whatever it is I was dealing with with the patient at the time and did the best I could, you know, by helping them and bringing some balance and um, helping my uh, psych patients. But I'm seeing a lot of psych behaviors that are off um, when it's coming to... Um, how you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to live. You know what I'm saying? Um, I still vacation. I get on the plane. I wear my mask. Lois don't play. You know what I'm saying? Because you're breathing in recycled air. So I'll make sure, you know, you know, I'm double mask, N95 mask. I'm, um, you know, I, I have my, um, my, uh, face shield on because you know that stuff is airborne it can get in your eyes so if i'm on a plane with a lot of people my eyes are covered my my ears are covered i have cotton balls in my ears so droplets don't get inside my ear and travel down into my body um i just have to switch how i used to do things so i can continue to to enjoy my life and live my life um Instead of, you know, um, you know, I'll go to a restaurant now, I'll order some food and I'll do a takeout or I'll sit outside when the weather's really nice and eat outside where I'm not in a congested uh, area. Lois is going to take care of herself because I know this. I know that sicknesses and diseases, that's not the will of God for my life. And all I have to do is resist. So my job is to resist uh, sicknesses and diseases. Use some common sense and um, protect my body and my health. So, you know, when I was on the phone talking to this beautiful, beautiful young woman, I just told her, I'm like, hey, it's too many times that uh, plague has been in, in your body. You definitely need to cleanse your body out, flush that crap out of you because it hides inside of the body and then tries to raise its ugly head out later. And that's how people end up with like long COVID and stuff like that, right? So um, you got to, you know, cleanse your body out, flush it out really, really well. And so I just wanted to stop by and be like a voice of reason and get into your head a little bit see where you are see if you know did you just give up on protecting yourself do you love yourself enough to just create a new plan of how you're going to navigate uh through life um there were a couple of things i did last year that you know i had to support you know my son when he was ordained you know I had to be there he got married last year I was there um, protected myself right each time um, y'all know I did the my movie uh, premiere you know how that went I talked about that uh, when I sat down and watched the movie my mask was on when people came in to greet me my mask was on when it was time to uh, get in front of the camera and take pictures I pulled my mask down for a few seconds and then put my mask back up and did a lot of fasting and praying before I even, you know, went to uh, my red carpet event. Taking dominion and authority in the realm of the spirit so that I didn't get sick. And so everybody who came to my movie premiere did not get sick. Everybody did well. Nobody got sick. And that was my prayer to God, you know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to take the movie and take it to the next level and get it on the big screen. But I wanted to do it in a very safe way, okay? Um, I had uh, mask 
for everybody who attended uh, my movie premiere. So, you know, it's very, very important to me that I use like intelligence and common sense during a time of what is happening uh, in the earth. I, first of all, I'm a nurse. So, you know, I'm looking at things different um, than the rest of the world. Um, for over 30 something years, I've been a licensed nurse and y'all, I've been taking care of humanity. I've been taking care of people. And um, I know what sickness looks like. And I know it's not the will of God. I know it's not. And so um, I just want to share just some common sense information to be careful um, uh, out there while you're out and about. Um, when you're around people, wear your mask. You don't know what people are doing. You don't know someone's hygiene habits. You don't know if someone uh, cares enough about themselves to even protect you. I I'm telling y'all right now, for some of the stuff I've seen, I don't trust nobody with my life except my God. And then me protecting myself. I'm telling you, I have seen it all, heard it all. And y'all know a lot of people. God has sent a lot of people to me diagnosed with um, COVID within the last uh, three years now. And so I didn't seen it all. I didn't heard it all. I see how people don't care. People will be sick with symptoms and go to work and spread it. Do you hear me? Because they're trying to get a paycheck. They don't care about nobody else's life. I have seen people uh, and heard about people because, you know, they people come to me for help. Um, someone was had COVID and then was in a truck doing some delivery with the elderly, dropping off pharmaceuticals you know dropping off medication right y'all sick with covid coming in contact with the elderly y'all know that's wrong why would you even bring that to the elderly that's wrong you see what i'm saying um i can remember all kinds of crazy stuff situations and stories i remember i had to tell one nurse who had covid symptoms who worked at a nursing home because she was talking to me about it. Um, her, the administrator at the nursing home here in Michigan told her, you know, she got to come back to work because it had, you know, the 14 days had, you know, went, went past and she got to come back to work, but she still tested positive for COVID and she still had symptoms. I'm like, girl, don't you go nowhere. I said, I don't care what your administrator is saying. I said, don't you go back to work and make them old people sick. That's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I said, you talk to your doctor. You get um, uh, a note from your doctor that you're still testing positive for COVID. And that he's going to pull you off of work until you test negative. And so it worked out in her favor. But y'all, they was trying to make people go to work with the symptoms. I'm telling y'all, we talking about people in leadership not caring about the elderly. I'm trying to tell y'all, I didn't seen it all, I didn't heard it all, and I know folks out here got money on the mind and they don't care about life. What good is money going to do you if you ain't here? It's not going to help you if you're not here. And so I just wanted to stop by and share that uh, with you because there's only so much your body can take before it gets tired of fighting, okay? You can't keep letting COVID come into your body like that. You know, your body is not going to want that invasion all the time. So you have to use some common sense and... Um, think about, you know, how you're going to navigate through life. And y'all, y'all already know how, what I told y'all about the church. Y'all, I didn't told y'all about these, these uh, churches out here talking about they got faith in God. And COVID ain't got nothing to do with how, what, if you got faith or not. It has everything to do about how that plague travels, how that spirit 
of death travels uh, inside of the body is going to either get in the eyes, the nose, the mouth, or the ears. Okay. So, you know, I ha have not been tested positive for COVID. I have gotten my blood work done twice to see if I had any antibodies. I haven't been sick with COVID at all. So, you know, but I've just been doing what God told me to do. Lois, wear a mask when you get around people. Yes, sir. The instructions are simple enough for me to do. I don't debate with people. I don't care what nobody else says. I listen to my father in heaven because he is the lover of my soul. And he looks down and he protects me. And um, it's, to wear a mask is just simple. You know, whenever I'm around people, I just wear a mask because I don't trust it. I don't trust what's in the air. I don't trust people to do right ethically or morally. I don't trust them. You know, I don't trust nobody to love me like God loves me and like I love myself. And so I, I, I just be out here like a little soldier, protecting myself, putting my mask on. If I see a lot of people crowded together, I'm not trying to be with that. I don't care. I don't care what the rest of the world is doing. Lois got some common sense. Do you hear me? And I'm a very intelligent woman. So, you know, I can have fun all by myself. Or if I'm hanging out with my friends and I do that, um, you know, frequently, we know how to have fun and have our mask on and enjoy um, ourselves. We know how to do that. So this is Prophetess Nurse Lois uh, coming to you from the uh, Lois Banks Ministry. Um, I just wanted to give you a different perspective of the importance of... Um, taking care of your health, protecting yourself, not having a uh, nonchalant attitude, not having, I call it a psychosis, where you pretend that something's not happening. You just pretend like it's not happening. Like you just pretend that COVID is not crisscrossing in the air and crisscrossing, you know, in a room and you just pretend that it's not there. I don't get down like that. My brain don't function like that. My brain deals with what is. Whatever it is we dealing with, that's how my brain deals with it. Uh, and it, and I deal with it with instructions uh, from the Lord. So this is uh, Prophetess Nurse Lois coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Take care of yourself.